and Ju, man. Today we're gonna talk about just some things we can do to maximize our masculinity, man. Going to, towards this end of this year, going into 2024, man. First thing, we all know, man. We gotta stop eating that bullshit, man. Eating and drinking that bullshit. You know what I'm talking about? Sugary foods, the overly greasy stuff, all the processed stuff, drinking all that alcohol and sugary drinks and stuff, man. You got to stop doing that, man, because all of that stuff is really destroying our bodies. I don't think none of it's really good for our testosterone. I'm saying you need to be eating good, clean, whole foods. You know what I'm saying? Nice, clean meats, nothing overly greasy, all that shit, man. You need to be just taking care. Just like you got to think like we got everything we ingest is, is affecting us, man. So you want to put the best high quality foods and fuels in your body, man. Next thing we do, man, we got to take our workouts up to another level, man. That's what I've been doing recently, man. I've been been going a little bit harder in the gym because I'm already knowing. Like, if I want to increase my masculinity to the, and, and maximize it, yeah, I got to go a little harder in the gym. I got to, you know what I'm saying, like, move my body, get that testosterone flowing, you know what I'm saying? You need to be using it, you know what I'm saying? If you don't use your body, you're going to lose your body, you know what I'm saying? So, definitely just increase your work out the amount of times you work out and and just go a little bit harder every time like not every time you don't want to injure yourself and shit like that make sure you're stretching and all that of course but definitely take it up another level now i I see some dudes they just go to the gym and get on the fucking treadmill for three hours like bro you know what i'm saying do some push-ups bro do some push-ups get your get your muscles flowing man like that's going to increase your masculinity and it's going to also just make you more confident and help you get women better, bro. And with that, it comes moving more naturally, too. You don't want to just be, like I said, you don't want to be moving at the gym. You want to go outside, go on walks, take the stairs sometimes, you know, like getting more natural movements throughout your day. You don't want to be sitting down all day, all niggas sitting in gaming chairs all day, sitting on the couch all day, strap you in the car, you sitting all day, you at your desk at work sitting all day like that's not helping your masculinity definitely not helping your testosterone bro so the next thing we gotta do to maximize our masculinity is really focus on your purpose bro if you're focusing on your purpose that's already like some masculine energy right there if you're you got your hierarchy straight you already know god purpose self family boom you moving like that you're going to be increasing your masculinity automatically bro because moving towards that purpose that's like really one of the most masculine things you can do is just waking up with a goal and waking up with some motherfucking energy like yo you trying to conquer the world bro like that's what's going to really increase your masculinity and people can feel that energy when you just want to you know i say you ever been around somebody that got a lot of energy and they really focused on a goal and got something like they really want to do man they they usually are very very masculine person bro next thing we want to do Bro, you gotta cut out all that porn and masturbation. You already know this, bro. Using, like, you know what I'm saying? Nothing and pillows and socks and shit all the time. It's not helping your masculinity at all, bro. It's actually taken away from it a lot. So you don't want to be that guy that's being addicted to porn and shit all day. One, is taking away from your ability to get women. It's taking away your testosterone. Like, you really want to be the dude that's... When you're... You know what I'm saying? Busting nuts and stuff like that, bro. Who would want to be doing that with women? Like, that's... And you got to think. When you're holding that energy in, it's only making you more attractive to women. They can smell niggas with more testosterone. You feel me? Like, they, it's, it's pheromones and all that. Like, I ain't no scientist or nothing, but I just know I don't be beating my dick. And, yeah, I'm a very attractive dude. Like, women, you know what I'm saying? They like the kid. So... You got to get off all that porn. You don't want to be staring at screens too much any, all day, any day anyway. And then when you're doing that, you're literally reinforcing the uh, horny nut. And then you feel kind of shitty about yourself. Like, And you're doing that over and over. And it's a cycle. You don't want to get caught up in that cycle. Like, it's dudes that wake up and they beat their dick. And then they got to beat their dick to go to sleep. Yo. You don't want to be that dude. You want to be a real masculine dude. You holding that energy in. And letting that energy push you towards going outside and talking to women. And that's the next thing you got to do, bro. You got to go outside. You got to get some nature. Yeah, Nature, 
nature in nature is definitely more so feminine energy but it's something about being outside and doing some manly shit whether you hunting you just going on hikes shooting guns or whatever you're doing go do some more so manly activities bro like go outside with the bros to play basketball football whatever you play some sports join a club do something to get you around to get you outside and also to get you around other masculine men that's the key right there if you're around a bunch of soy boys dudes that ain't really you know what I'm saying they play the game they on 2k Minecraft all day everybody got a little guts and nigga skinny fat than a motherfucker like if you're around a bunch of skinny fat dudes you're gonna become a skinny fat dude if you're around masculine men dudes that like going to the gym they like going outside they like playing sports they like being in nature they like traveling they like you know what I'm saying just getting money chasing their goals chasing their purpose those are the dudes that are gonna get you to where they're at just by being around them it's like it's gonna rub off all that masculine energy bro the last thing I really want to talk about is the importance of increasing your masculinity I feel like 2023 man a time and day where masculinity is definitely being attacked, bro. It's definitely being attacked and it's being demonized. Like they say, toxic masculinity. To me, the only toxic masculinity is the lack of masculinity. The lack of masculinity is where you see these guys, they're getting so angry, they explode and wanna shoot stuff up and like just emotional outbursts and things like that. That's feminine energy and dudes that's not masculinity at all like i don't know any masculine man that can't control his anger you know what i'm saying and not being able to control your anger that's a non-masculine trait you have to be in control of your emotions and like i'm not saying i have to feel them it's just being in control and learning how to be stoic being more stoic that's something that's going to increase your masculinity as well because people will see damn why everybody else panicking? You calm, or at least you're giving off the presence of calm. You're not panicking, you know what I'm saying? And being able to not panic in stressful situations, that's definitely a masculine trait. Feminine energy is going to panic. But masculine energy, true masculine energy, is going to be able to stay more so calm than everybody else. I ain't going to say you just got to be completely calm. What really stoicism is about just not getting too high, not getting too low, you know what I'm saying? And not letting those emotions of these highs and lows affect you and your path. So that's really all I got to say, man. Drop some ways in the comments that I missed that guys can increase their masculinity. Um, let me know what you think about masculinity. Do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? I, to me, I don't think anybody should think it's a bad thing. Like I said, the only thing bad is the men with the lack of masculinity. And not all men like that because not all feminine men are shooting stuff up and things like that. But it's very, like you see it, you see it a lot. Like when I see these dudes shooting up schools or having these outbursts or hitting women and stuff like that, that's not masculine behavior to me. That's more so feminine behavior. But yeah, man, with all I had to say on this topic, man, like I said, let me know some more ways that these guys can increase their masculinity going into 2024, man. As always, I love y'all. I'm out.